In this lesson, let's talk about the difference between as well and as well as. They have very different meanings. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this video, let's talk about the difference between as well and as well as. I know they look very similar. However, they have different meanings. They're both adverbs, okay? But first, let's talk about as well. As well, is used when we add an additional piece of information. You can think of it as the same as to. So let's say your friend says, I have to go to the bank. Now, you have to go to the bank. So you have to go to the bank, your friend has to go to the bank. Hmm, so we can use as well. So again, your friend says, I have to go to the bank. You can say, I have to go as well, as well. So here is like saying two. You both have to do the same action. Or let's say it's early in the morning and you go to your favorite cafe for a cup of coffee. So you order and you say, I'll have a coffee. But then you notice those muffins look delicious. So then you add, and a muffin as well, as well. So you can add as well. I'll have a coffee and a muffin as well. So we're adding as well our adverb to the end of a sentence. Notice that sentence structure, the placement is at the end of a sentence and it's used when we're adding an additional point, a point that complements our first point. Now, as well as is used in a different way. The meaning is more advanced. It's more of an advanced grammar topic. The meaning is not only Y, but also X, okay? Not only, but also. For example, I have to go to the bank as well as the store, as well as the store. So notice, not only Y, but also X. Now notice how I'm saying not only Y, but also X. Hmm, it's because we emphasize X. So in this case, our X is bank and the Y is store. Now I'm emphasizing bank. I have to go to the bank as well as the store. Now let's compare that to a simple sentence with as well. I could say, I have to go to the store and I have to go to the bank as well. So in this case, I'm adding an additional place I need to go. Remember our placement, as well comes at the end of the sentence. Now, the important thing to remember is in this case, I'm not emphasizing one action over the other. They're equal importance, the bank, the store, they're equal. But when I use as well as, the bank is more important. It has more emphasis than the store. I have to go to the bank as well as the store. Now notice the placement with as well as. We use as well as before the second noun. The store is our second noun, as well as the store. But with as well, it's simply at the end, the very end of the sentence. One more example showing both side by side. Let's say I was at the mall yesterday and I could tell my friend, I bought a sweater and a t-shirt as well. Remember, as well, I'm just adding an additional item. I bought a sweater and a t-shirt as well. Now let's say I want to identify two qualities that the sweater has, but I want to emphasize one over the other. I could say the sweater is beautiful as well as comfortable. So two items, beautiful and comfortable, but I'm emphasizing beautiful. The sweater is beautiful as well as comfortable. 
So now you can see them side by side and understand how they're used differently. And of course, it's your turn to practice. So I want you to do the same thing. Give an example where first you can use as well, and then make a statement where you're identifying two characteristics or two items, two nouns, and you're emphasizing one and use as well as. So put your example in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job, you're practicing some pretty advanced grammar right now and you're doing such an amazing job. Make sure you practice so you feel really confident with it. Put your examples in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.